Now let's get to explaining the CTL semantics. Just like for LTL, we first spend some time drawing and discussing some pictures, and we conclude with a formal definition. We'll exemplify the semantics of CTL uh, temporal connectives and a few combinations of them. For this, we'll draw part of an unwinding tree of some randomly chosen LTS and use colors to indicate the states where given formulas are supposed to be true, according to the intended semantics. In each case, we'll talk about a CTL property from the point of view of the current state, which is initially at the top of the unwinding tree, that is, is its root. By a current or future state, we will mean the current state, which again is initially at the top of the tree, or a future state, that is, one located further down in the tree, which means further up in the future because the tree grows downwards. And similarly, all current and future states will collectively refer to the current state and to all the future states. I felt the need to clarify this because one should not interpret these formulations as suggesting that at a given time there are more than one current state. No, there is exactly one current state and multiple future states. Let's first consider for all eventually. And here is a presumptive LTS shown as a tree. Note again that we always interpret the formula starting from the state shown at the top of the tree. This one, which we refer to as the current state. We want that for all paths starting from the current state, phi will eventually hold, that is, hold at some point. As illustrated here, we want that all paths eventually lead to a state where phi holds. This, as well as this, as well as this, as well as this, as well as this. Note the color matching. Phi is shown in blue in the considered formula. Which is a for all eventually. And also shown in blue are the states where phi holds in this scenario that ensures that for all eventually holds. We're going to use this kind of color matching all throughout our examples. Of course, and this will be true for all the pictures that we draw here, this is not the only scenario, but just an illustrative scenario. There can be other ways for this for all eventually formula to hold, of course, with blue states, for example, showing up earlier or later on the paths. What we need is that no matter what path we take, there's no way to avoid phi. This is the idea of the picture. Another thing to clarify, again, relevant here as well as later, is that this coloring is not intended to be complete. If we don't color a state in blue, we're not saying that phi is not allowed to hold there as well. Moving on, for there exists eventually, here's again our tree. We need that there exists at least one path that leads to a state where phi holds. Shown here by making a choice of such a path. So the quantifier there exists, as well as the quantifier for all from the previous slide, both refer to paths. Either there exists a path so that such and such holds, or for all paths, such and such holds. Sometimes, this quantification of a path, uh, paths can be simplified, which is the case here um, in this example, saying that there exists a path on which phi eventually holds, means that there exists a path with a state on it where phi holds, which simply means that there exists some current or future state where phi holds. Not also that another way to say current or future state is state reachable from the current state.
let's now consider the for all next connective. And here's again our tree. Um, we are again in the case where the semantics can be simplified from paths and states on them to just states. In the path quantification reading of this property, we need that phi holds next on all paths starting from the current state, which simply means that phi holds on all next states, that is, on all successor states of the current state, which are shown here in blue. As for there exists next, again, on a presumptive LTS shown as a tree, instead of phi holding next on all paths, we require that phi holds next for some path. That is, phi holds on some next state. In other words, there exists some next state where phi holds. Illustrated here by making a choice of one of these next states, shown in blue. Moving on to the two uh, always based connectives for CTL, the for all variant, namely for all always, says about our tree <clears throat> that all states on all paths satisfy phi. In other words, all the current and future states, that is to say, all the reachable states satisfy phi. So everything must be blue. As for the there exists variant of the connective, namely there exists always. Here's again our tree. We want the existence of a path on which phi always holds. In other words, it holds on every state on that path. As illustrated here, by making a choice of such a path. Finally, for the until connectives, we again have two variants. The for all until variant, when applied to two CTL formulas, phi and psi, read phi for all until psi requires that um, for all pads phi until psi holds meaning that for all pads there is a possibly empty block of states where phi holds uh, the blocks of states are shown in red followed by a state where psi holds shown in blue that is phi eventually holds and psi holds until then on all paths. Um, so this notion of having a possibly empty block of states where phi holds followed by a state where psi holds is of course the behavior of until that is familiar to us from LTL. Here the, the for all quantifier uh, which is part of the CTL connective, requires that this until behavior happens over all paths starting from the current state. It should be the case here, red, 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 blue, and here, red, 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 blue, and here, red, red, blue, and here, red, 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 blue, uh, etc. Note that the semantics of until does not require that phi and psi are mutually exclusive. They can both hold for the same state, even though this picture does not show states that are red and blue at the same time. And uh, there exists variant of until, read there exists until. Of course, once not all paths but at least one path to satisfy this until property. Illustrated here by making a choice. 
phi holds for a black for a, for a block red 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 and then psi holds blue and again with until there's no requirement that phi and psi are mutually exclusive so i hope you can see on these pictures how the existential so how the um, existential and universal quantifiers over paths are combined with the temporal operators in the CTL semantics.